Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we're gonna learn how you can apply filters to such widgets as Listen Grid and Listen Calendar that are available within the Jet Engine plugin. So once you have the content that you want to display in the Listen Grid and in the Listen Calendar widgets, it is time to start creating some filters, which are gonna be applying to these widgets. So what we do here is we go to Smart Filters and click Add New. This is how you create a new filter. So I named it the Search Filter and of course we're gonna select the Search Filter type in here. And you can either leave it as a default WordPress search, so it's gonna only search in a title of your items that are displayed in the Listen Grid and in the Listen Calendar, or you can choose the second option, which is by custom field or from query variables. So here you can choose one of these query variables listed in here. And these are all for the WooCommerce products. Or you've also got an option to create a custom field for the certain post type and then fill it custom field with some information and to allow this filter to search in this specific custom field by putting its name or its ID, as it is also called, right here in this field. So for now, I'm just going to leave the default WordPress search and let's simply click publish. So now it's time to go to a page where I'm going to add my widgets and my search filter. So let's start with the listen grid. Here it goes and I drop it over there. I've already got the listing item, which I'm going to display in this listing grid. Of course, you have to create the listing item in advance. So you have the certain look that your posts or your items are going to have in the grid. So now it's time that we search for the search filter. Here it goes. And I'm going to drop it in the second column. So from the list, I choose the one that I've created and in the this filter for drop down I need to choose the jet engine option which is going to mean that this search filter is going to be applied to this type of widget and here we go to the preview and here you can start typing in your query in the search field so this is how it looks for the listen grid and let's try creating a different filter for the listen calendar. We go to smart filters, add new. In the filter type, we select date range. And the metadata is the date that's gonna be in the custom field of the post. And the post date is simply gonna be the publication date. As you see, once you choose the post date, the uh, query variable field disappears because you don't have to insert anything in there. But if you choose metadata, you're gonna need the custom field that's gonna contain the date. So I have the custom post type that I have created beforehand. It's called events. And here I've got a number of posts and each of these posts has got the custom field with the date. So if I click edit, and if I scroll down, I'm gonna find the field name date, and I'm gonna see that the certain date is set. So what I need to do here is to copy the name of this custom field. And I go back to the window where I was creating the filter, and I simply insert it right here in the query variable field. So the search filter, while searching for the post, will pull out the information that is set in this particular custom field with the name date. Alright, so we click publish. And now here in the Elementor editor, I need to add the listing calendar to my page. Here it goes. And I drop it over there. And in the listing, I select this one because it's going to display the posts from the events post type. So now you have to set it up and depending on how you want your posts to be displayed, you need to tell the widget where it is going to look for the date to display the date of the post in the calendar. 
So in group posts by drop down, you've got a number of options, post publication date, post modification date, and date from the custom field. So what this field is going to do is to tell your widget on which day it should display the post. So if you choose post publication date, it's going to display this post on the day when it was created. Post modification date will do the same, but it's going to display the post on the date when you have last changed this post. And the date from the custom field is going to tell the widget to display the post on the dates that are set in the custom field. And we're going to choose the last option. And here in the meta field name, what we need to do is to paste that name of that meta field again. So this is the meta field that is applied to every single post in the events post type and where I have set the dates. Now you see that in November I've got a number of events and all of these dates were pulled out from the date meta field. You can also go ahead and set it up a lot more precisely so it displays exactly what and how you need it to display things. But now we're gonna proceed to add in the filter. It was the dates range filter that we've created and I'm gonna drop it over there on the column. So in the select filter drop down, I choose the dates range one they've created. And in this filter for drop down, we need to choose jet engine calendar. So the filter knows that it's applied to this specific type of widget. All right, it's pretty much it that we need to set up. And let's go ahead to the preview so we can test the filter out. So here it goes. So now what we need to do to set the range of dates in which we want to see our events. Like beyond that date range, we're not going to see any events at all. So what we do here is simply click there and we have this calendar pop up and we go to November and you see that the first event that we have starts at the first event we have is on November 5th and the last one is November 20th. So what we do here is start from, let's say, November 10th and go straight up to November 18th. Here we go and we click apply. There it is. Now you see that all the events that are beyond that date range from 10th to 18th of November, they have disappeared. So this is how you apply filters to such widgets as Listen Grid and Listen Calendar with the help of Jet Engine plugin and Jet Smart Filters plugin for Elementor. I hope this tutorial was useful to you guys and thank you for watching.